hello and welcome back to my channel this is Mora. thank you so much for watching and today i'm going to be showing you this makeup look if you're interested make sure that you uh keep watching also don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and leave me a comment uh what other uh video you'd like to see on my channel and let's start all right let me show you how you can do this look using this palette this is the fairy tales from storybook cosmetics and this is the first time i tried it these are the shades they're pretty shades they're shimmer glitter matte ones and let's um try it together so the first thing i'm gonna do is there is the mirror on this side and it looks like a book it's cute but this is the first time i'm trying it so let's review together so first things i'm going to use woodland which is this one right here all over my lid as like a base it's a very neutral very like skin tone eyeshadow so i like that one just all over the lid like this any creases it can uh, take it away so it's pretty cool all right so next i'm gonna go ahead and it's kind of powdery that's what i noticed i'm gonna use this spinel i don't know these names are weird this one right in the middle right there it's more of a lavendery kind of shade and i'm gonna put this one on like the crease right here it's very soft it's just gonna give me a little definition but it's not gonna add a lot of a, a color which I like because it just, it darkens a little bit, but it's more of a like definition. And I like that shade as well. This is a very nice shade for like office. Not pink, but like lavenderish pink. Uh, pretty awesome now what I want to do is I want to use the briar rose which is this this rose one right here the names are kind of weird but it's okay uh, and I'm gonna want to put this one on top of spinol this one is just a shade or two maybe darker which i like awesome now i want to darken the outer corner so I'm going to use Grim. It's not brown. It's like dark maroon. This one, Grim, right here. The names are kind of weird. Okay. And I'm going to use an angled brush. And I'll try to... This one, I really like it because it's very pigmented. See, it's like very pigmented. And then I'm going to grab another brush. I'm going to take this inside. Let's 
So that way I made it a little darker, but not really dark. And the shades are like pink, lavender, dark maroons. So you're, you're going darker. It's so weird to explain makeup. <laughs> um, but this is how you would usually layer from the, the lighter to the darker. And it's kind of powdery, like I said. I wish I knew that before I did my face, but I like I like the shades. They're nice shades. Uh, just when it's powdery, that means it's not going to sit on as much as I would want it to. But we're going somewhere. Now, the next one. I really love this shade. What is it called? It's Kiss. This glittery, very nice shade. Very nice. Um, the problem is, once I put it with the brush, there was no glitters. So I'm going to show you. So I just like to pack it. Just to like add the shade all over the lid. like so so if you notice you don't see any glitter like this one so you have to use your hands i'm going to show you because when i just use my hands that's when you start seeing the glitter so that's what I mean by powdery. Um, let's see now you can see. I hope, I hope you can see the glitter. Which is okay for me. So I'm going to go back to the Grim, which is the darker maroon. And I will just darken the corners again. It's very pigmented, very pigmented. But once you start blending it, it like gives that contrast together. So it's pretty awesome. But again, I will have to add more of the glitter because once you, um, like see the glitter in this area so that's what i don't like about powdery eyeshadows they don't last they don't give you that um vibe of the shade you may say okay and now what I'm going to use is Fairies, which is a very shimmer light, um, this one at the bottom. This is Fairies. It is light, light blue. And I'm going to put that right in the corner right here. Did you notice anything? Yeah. I did. I'm going to use my hands. So definitely it is way powdery. And it will definitely take off your shade. Anyhow, I am going to use a pencil. This is from, you're making my hands, uh, from Illuminati Gel Paint Electric Root Blue. This is Electric Blue, and this is from Illuminati. And I'm going to put that in under my eye.
And I like this for like a hint of color. And I am going to grab Castle, which is the little darker blue. Castle, this one. And I'm going to go over the under eye. I like it I had a different plan um, but because it got really powdery was the colors I couldn't blend on top of things so um, this this is what the palette looks like they're really pretty shades they're very vibrant but once you start blending Va -va -voom. it goes away so anyhow i'm gonna be using my moxie l magnetic clash for today i haven't used it in a while and i just love it so let's start with the liquid magnetic eyeliner All right, and um, I'm gonna give a couple minutes. And these are the lashes. They're very pretty. Just can you see? Uh, so I'm gonna put them off camera because I don't want you to wait till I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I put my uh, Moxia lash. These are sassy lash. These are the magnetic ones. They're very nice, fluffy, and very light. And for the bottom ones, I'm going to use a mascara from Tristique. Uh, this is the one that has like the lash curler. Um, I tried it a couple times. I really love it. It's really nice. So that completes my eyes. I hope you guys like this. I really like it. I didn't plan for this to be like that, but um, I still like the look that it comes out to. Anyhow, for my lips, I'm using this uh, extra, extra, extra Dragon Beauty Lip Drop Liner. And the shade is Nudish Brown. And also I've been trying this TikTok hack where you do like your lips closed and then you do it. To talk and do it, but I try that. It's really nice. It, it works like this. like clips more on the brown nude and then um this is from Zueva Zueva powerful lip twist simile is the color it's more like a 
nude toby shade and i hope it matches yes how pretty is the shade Okay, I like it. Mm. I don't know if it matches with the bold lips, but it's bold, bold. Anyhow, so I'm gonna use my setting every day, my setting spray every day VK from Seattle, London. Can't talk today. So. Mm -hmm. absolutely love the smell of this one it's the coconut and so this is the final look for this makeup look i hope you like it see you in my next video bye